Yep. All right, so today what we're discussing is when you're uh, in a situation where the customer wants a certain haircut and you don't really have enough hair. We're in that era where everybody's copying off the 80s, early 90s, they're growing these boxes, okay? I just for the sake of time, one side's already finished, the other side, you know, needs finished, so we'll show you how to get there. Okay, it's going to be a real challenging haircut. I remember back when I was growing up, 80s and 90s, I would always leave that ring around with like a bowl cut, so to speak, okay, so that the ability to blend with your guards and then use that in, uh, in uh, conjunction with your clipper over comb technique, okay? And uh, I'm going to ask my cameraman to come a little closer. You'll be able to see. We're going to start off our fade. Okay. Uh, this is a regular clip. I'm using the wall singer. The wall singer is in the open position. And you look at our arsenal here. Uh, we just got three guards. Actually, we just put that one up. That's the same as this one. So I've got an old guard and a double zero guard. These are Speedo guides. Okay, for those of you guys who are uh, particular, I like those. Um, you can use whatever you want. But uh, here's a sure shot way. We're going to get you there. Okay, you ready? Open five position. We're coming up right around the uh, middle of the customer's head, almost like the hat line, right about here. Okay. Always play safe and sorry, you can always take more hair off. Come around. Of course, that's all the hair that's going to uh, be taken off anyway. We won't need that. Make sure it's even. Don't forget, we're building the foundation like the bottom part of your haircut. Uh, careful to keep your uh, clipper clean and your comb and your blade to make sure the hair feeds through there real nice and smooth. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over and take our old guard. Leave the hair at a 3 16th of an inch. Make sure my clipper's clean. I'm asking my cameraman to meet us on the other side. And moving around from the left to the right, and of course this is like, I'm a stickler for uh, just getting a starting point and a stopping point. For those of you guys who watch uh, any of the tutorial YouTube videos in the past, uh, I'm a licensed barber instructor, and I'm big on fundamentals. If we can get fundamentals down, success in a haircut would be a byproduct. Not to over -talk, talk it, get yourself a starting point and a stopping point, so you're not lost in the haircut. So I'm moving left to right. Knocking it down. And some of you guys may do already do this and that's perfectly fine. But for those of you guys who don't, let's get a system. Alright? I'm coming down with the grain and I'm gonna flip it up. And I'm gonna cut up and comb or brush down. Usually I wouldn't use this brush, I may use like a smaller brush because it's easier to sanitize. But this is a new one just for this particular video. The brush and the comb's gonna do uh, a little bit different things when it comes to laying that hair down, so I prefer a brush in this particular situation. Alright, so I'm in a closed clipper position, just knocking that hair down. That's all I can do with this guard. Alright, that's 3 16th, I'm going to process the elimination, I'm going to get rid of that. It only leaves me with my double zero. Okay. There's two zeros right there. I think the uh, Speedo company refers to them as OTS. That's just like fancy language. It leaves a haircut at a 16th of an inch. So if you got a black 16th or any other uh, company brand 16th, that'll work just as fine. Now I'm going 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You see the clipper open? I'm going to refer to that as 5. Okay, close it a little bit more. 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, this is a wall singer. If you were using an Andes Master, you'll have those five notches. That's what I'm referring to. If you see any of the old uh, tutorial DVDs, we would do fading as easy as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Of course, uh, I was using an Andis Master. Okay? So just this section right here, I'm going to go 5. Working right on the line. Careful to brush the hair down. Okay? Brush the clipper off. I'm moving in just a tad bit. Now I'm 4. Okay? Moving in a tad bit more, there's three. There's two. Now in tough areas where I don't really want to cut a whole bunch of hair, you'll notice I'll just 
just use my right corner or my left corner. Just slowing it down for you. Barbershop speed, we're here. Okay. Get through the motions. I said, if you're anything uh, like most barbers I know, have that appreciation for detail, and we're pretty good critics. We know how to pick pick apart somebody else's haircut. Do the same thing. I suggest you try doing the same thing with your own work. If you want to take pictures of your work, videotape it, whatever you want to do. Take time and analyze your work. Get a couple customers that don't mind, you know, sticking it to you and being hard on you a little bit so that you can get better. Okay, those are the things we've all done over the years. That's any of the barbers that's uh, doing fairly decent for themselves. You know, you want to be your own worst critic. And I'm pretty hard on myself, so and that's kind of how we got there. All right, so now we've had brings us to the last quarter right side of the head I'm right back to the drawing board don't make it hard okay trust your tools open five okay four it's like riding a bike five four three two one and for those of you guys say ah oh, it makes it look easy well I just I knocked out my reps I put my reps in early in the game that's all <laughs> you know five four three two one but I still am going through these same steps it's funny because I'll teach those uh, steps at different barber schools at times we had the pleasure of doing classes um, just as a, you know, kind of like guest speaker type of deal. And we'll see some, some student that hadn't really, uh, you know, cut much hair be able to do a relatively decent thing by taking the time and following the steps, almost like a recipe, all right, like a formula. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 should get you right about here, if not. Give us a call, call, shoot us an email, Facebook us, you know. Leave a comment on the bottom of the YouTube. And we'll try to do our best to get back with you. And of course, you can always call the shop. i got to give you a plug. You should have seen it on the intro. 330-455-SHOP. That's our uh, phone number here. If I can't get with you, because I am a barber, so I'm cutting hair. One of the other barbers may take your information. We'll add you to our mailing list, and let's have fun. Go to the you, right? Okay? So I'm done. This is all I can do with my guard work. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm cheating and kind of going back over it just to clean it up. Now, here's the most important part. This little snippet. Clipper over comb. If you went to a barber school and you didn't get that, it's in your textbook. You can always buy a textbook. You got a problem finding one? Give us a call. I'm sure we can try to work on something. Clipper and comb. It's a barber taper comb. It's got a wide, wide end, smaller end. These teeth are longer for longer hair. These teeth are smaller for hair that's uh, not necessarily smaller but closer to the head all right this is going to take off more this is going to take off less all right so let's safe and sorry we can take our wide end if it's darker it's longer that's the rule all right so any of that stuff that's, that's showing up as dark spots and kind of making my fade look a little blotchy the hair is longer so to go in there with a guard sometime it'll push the hair out of the way so what you do is relax pick the hair up bring it to you huh and it basically thins the hair out. You should see your fade a little bit more smoother. So that works. Up over comb technique. One quarter at a time, rather than tackle a whole haircut project, break it down into sections. Um, again, we're big on just organizing. Take the most complicated things and make them simple. Small goals for yourself. I want to fade this section as much as I can, clip over comb. Once that's been done, Treat yourself to the next section, all right? Go one customer at a time. If you concentrate on getting customers first, the money will be there, all right? It's funny because we had conversations in the past uh, here in the barber shop, barber stores, about, you know, um, how many barbers is out there in the industry and whether it's oversaturated, meaning like there's too many barbers in your particular area, I don't have enough clientele. Okay, that's fine. But they, they also, yeah, they also say, well, the customers will say, a good barber's hard to find. They'll come in your own shop and tell you that. First time in your chair. Man, I've been looking for a good barber. That means now the pressure's on who? Us, as the barbers, right? So put that pressure on you whether the customers say it or not. Take your time, win customer for customer. You're in one, comp one big competition with everybody else who's ever cut this young man's hair. That's how I feel. And I take it personal. You know, and I and I compete. I mean, that's just concept for me. So, all right. so, so now we can stay competitive. That's where we need to be. Flip her over, comb. Just a little snippet there. Uh, we're now going to come back with our trimmers. I'm just using a wall detailer. And of course, one side's already been done. Starting from the middle. 
walking it over. I'm gonna make myself a, a C shape here. And I'm just random, I'm going in any order right now, just for the sake of uh, the uh, quick tutorial here. Draw a nice line around here. But if you're having problems doing a lineup, we have a very simple, systematic approach that we use. Um, you, know, you can get, uh, get in touch with us and we'll you know, get you towards either some of the free material that's online, talking about creating your perimeter outline, also referred to as your lineup, shape up, wherever you're at, and whatever language you use, it's all the same, right? Okay? Key to keeping it sharp and dark. Comb or brush the small hairs into where you want to make that line. Okay. That's what I've found over the years. Catch the hair at its longest point. Uh, that prevents you from pushing the line back or seeing the excess regrowth in about a day or so. Keep as sharp as possible. And of course, they came to get a haircut, not their skin cut, right? We've all been there. Trust me, I've. Uh, had my fair share of bad lineups, and they talk about your dad, which we don't want. Okay? But again, rather than making a lineup in your brain, make it simple and make shapes. You got a front box, you have a C shape, and what I like to refer to as an arc or a shape. And again, this is words I'm just making up. Some of them are textbook, I'll let you know when they're textbook. Uh, but get yourself a simple concept. Okay? Using my corners. I'm just going to take a free hand. Of course, he's growing out of box. So I'm just going to take a free hand clipper with, a clipper cl with the clipper closed here and lightly graze just the edges. Okay, just so it looks nice and neat as he transitions from a low uh, brush length haircut to a box. Right. So you see where we're at? And there's your end result. We can get our cameraman to get a good clean shot of that. Next time, Colors Barbershop. You heard it here first, Clipper and Comb Technique, education. We're going heavy, heavy, heavy on education. Got to get you guys this stuff. We take pride in it. We definitely think it's a blessing. Please log on, uh, you know, leave your comments. We care, all right? A lot of times it's tough to teach if we don't know where you're uh, lost at. Don't be embarrassed there. Just share it, man, and we'll fill in the blanks for you. Till next time, 330-455-7467. 455-SHOP. Public Barbershop.